Hi there, it's Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I wanna to talk about how to run Google Ads as an affiliate marketer. I've spent nearly four million US dollars on Google Ads as an affiliate marketer. And today I wanna to show you inside how I set up campaigns and how I set up all of the settings inside and choose offers that will convert for affiliates. Now, a lot of people think affiliate marketers are not welcome on Google ads, but today I'm gonna to prove that wrong. We're gonna talk about Google search ads in particular today. I'm gonna to show you how I, as an affiliate marketer, not an agency running ads for other companies locally or anything like that, I am an affiliate, I'm running affiliate offers, and I'm gonna show you exactly what needs to be done if you wanna do the same thing. Now, if you're just starting out, let's think about that for a second. I've ran roughly four million now on US dollars. Um, I quit my job in 2015 thanks to Google search ads, mainly because Google search ads has been one of the major traffic sources for me, in addition to Facebook and native ads, okay? So at four million, roughly the profit on that was uh, 60 to 70%. So if you think about it, it's roughly two million US dollars, just uh, conservatively, we'll say. So for me to work in a corporate job for, for however many years it takes to get that, I was, I was making about 50,000 a year at my corporate job when I decided to quit in 2015. It would have taken me roughly 20 years or more to accumulate that type of revenue, okay? So Google search ads is an extremely um, great opportunity for anyone who wants to really focus on paid traffic. I think it's one of the best traffic sources out there but there's really a lot to it. So if you are starting out and you want to learn how to make money online, I think this video is great for you because I'm gonna go through the steps, okay? So first of all, with, with Google search ads, you really need to have a high quality website. That is the secret, okay? If you're just uh, starting out and you have a Google search ads account and you just go in there and you start setting up direct link campaigns to affiliate links, or you start running these shady little offers or shady little um, strategies that you're reading from Google out there who are teaching you these methods that don't work it's not gonna work for you you're going to lose your Google Ads account and you do not want to lose your Google Ads account so watch this entire video so you understand what you need to know before you lose your Google Ads account as an affiliate marketer now if you like this type of video please subscribe below like my channel click the little bell icon so you get notified of all my future videos and you can look at all my past videos where I've also gone into my Google Ads accounts and other paid traffic sources online so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the first thing we need to do. And I'm gonna get into my computer here in a minute, but first let me talk about a few of the, the basics, okay? First of all, you need to choose an offer that is compliant with the Google search policies, okay? Um, you can't run aggressive diet ads, you can't run casino, um, loans, personal loans probably won't work for you, so just try and steer clear of that. I've had most success running health-related offers as well as financial-related offers, softwares, business-to-business -business software tools, all of that stuff really works well as an affiliate marketer, but you have to do it while you also have a full-blown website, okay? So if you're just starting out, we have a free training course at Powerhouse Affiliate that walks you through step-by-step -step how to build a authority an authority website so that you have a bunch of content first on your website. It teaches you about the organic traffic, how to get traffic from search engines so when people are searching for something, your website comes up in the search results for free organically. Once you have that established and you've gone through that training and you have a website in your niche that you've chosen and you have an audience and it's compliant with Google search ads, then it's time to start thinking about paid search ads so that you show up in the search results no matter what, um, whether you rank or not, you're going to be in the search results for whatever you're targeting for a keyword. So we're gonna get into my computer now. I'm gonna talk about how I pick the keywords that I target, how I set my bidding strategies, the ad group structures, and uh, some examples of good websites that you could use as an affiliate marketer while you're doing search ads on Google. Okay, welcome to inside of my computer. Here is inside one of my Google Ads accounts. I just wanna show you that I have in fact spent millions of dollars in search ads. This is one of my Google Ads accounts. 
For those of you out there who often ask me if this is real, yes, it's real. For the purpose of this video though, and the instructional part of it, I'm going to use a separate account just so I don't have to keep blurring out all of the data that is inside this current uh, account. So we're gonna use this account. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna show you, basically in this video, I'm gonna talk about the policy for affiliates that you need to follow. I'm gonna talk about some strategies for choosing your campaign. We're gonna talk about setup and some of the strategies I use for finding keywords and other things like that, okay? So first, the first thing we need to consider is the policy itself. Basically come into the Google Ads policy, read them all over here before you even start running ads. It's very important. Um, if you spend more than say 25 to $30,000, these policies still are in effect. However, you get assigned a account manager which will help you to determine if your new policy or if your new ads that you want to set up or your new campaigns are in fact compliant. It helps to have somebody on the inside, but usually that doesn't come until you spend several thousand dollars with Google. One of the biggest policies we as affiliates have a challenge with is this one right here that we talk about destinations that are solely designed to send users elsewhere. That is what affiliate marketing is. That is why people think Google hates affiliates. It's basically because we send people to a landing page, we send them to an offer that we do not own, and that is basically breaking the rules. So how do we fix this? How do we as affiliates run paid search ads? Well, it's actually not that hard. Um, the first strategy is you can simply do a lead generation style campaign, which is actually the best way to go. In my opinion, you're building yourself an email list. We go through a lot of this inside one of our courses inside Powerhouse Affiliate, where we talk about email marketing, setting up your, your freebie that you wanna give somebody, and then they sign up to your email list, and then you can email them whatever you want after. And I'm gonna show you an example of that here in a second. The other option is to actually partner directly with the offer owner and have them set up a specific domain only for you, okay? So that means they will set up the domain. You really need to have a good relationship with your partner. They will set up a domain. They'll put their product on there. They'll put the sales checkout and all of that in that domain. So now you can run ads specifically for you and every time you get a conversion or sale, it will attract on that site, okay? That is the only two ways I can think of. If you have other ways that you can get past these policies, please comment below, share your experience, and tell us what you're doing, because uh, I'm sure a lot of people would benefit from that information. But these two basic strategies do work, so let's go through a little bit more now and talk about some examples. So what I would do first if I was an affiliate marketer and I wanted to start an affiliate campaign, and the first thing you do is obviously find an offer that is compliant so you don't want to be running any gambling you don't want to run anything in terms of loans you can read all of this stuff here and you'll get more information as to what you can run but if you come into clickbank clickbank is a big marketplace i've done videos on it before check out my youtube channel what you can do is you can come into the marketplace so I figured for an example, I would talk about business and investing. I don't recommend you go into how to make money online. Trust me, it, even though I do that myself and I, my niche is around affiliate marketing, I highly recommend you do not start with how to make money online and run it on Google Ads. You're just gonna get banned. It's the same as Facebook. You go in with these big niches that everyone is running and basically they've already been so beaten down that they these big ad these big ad giants just don't like it anymore so don't even bother until you have a lot of spend and you've talked to a, an actual rep and you've been assigned a rep so that you can start doing things that are a little uh, more risky but at the same time you have someone on the inside who can help you get stuff approved so let's just talk uh, let's say you find an offer you come into the marketplace here there are tons of categories you can select here so whatever your niche is I'm sure you'll find something on here there's tons of good ones you can do stuff on parenting fishing home and garden health and wellness green products a whole bunch of different things you can run here and you can build your own website around. You can build a niche specific website. Check out the free training at powerhouseaffiliate.com where we show you exactly every single step along the way to build a niche website. Because I said before, you need to have a website with a ton of good content or else Facebook or Google here is just going to wipe you out. So make sure you have a lot of good content on your site related to your niche. Now come into your category here, and let's say I have a website around investing. I'm gonna sort the results by gravity, and as you can see, 
One of the top offers here being promoted by affiliates is paying out about $369 per sale. Now, let's assume I only get a 1% conversion rate. That means 100 people that I send to this offer, I get a conversion. Let's just say that. That's a, a good conservative number. That means I make $369 for every 100 clicks, which is a $3.69 $3 earnings per click. So now what I need to do is figure out how many subscribers it's going to take for me to get that 100 clicks. Usually, if you have a list of subscribers, let's say 50 subscribers, I can send them as many messages as I want over weeks and months and years. As long as I'm sending them good content, they're going to click on this offer. So really, uh, let's just say I get 100 leads and out of those 100 leads, I get three people to sign up to this. I'm gonna make a thousand bucks roughly just for getting three people to sign up to this training uh, program that is training people on how to invest. So really, if I'm, if I'm spending, say, even 10 or $20 per lead on Google, it's still going to work out profitable for me because I would say spend $600 for my 100 leads, which is super expensive for leads, okay? I'm just telling you an example here. If I'm buying leads for 20 bucks, that's super expensive. You can get them so much cheaper. In fact, you can get leads for a dollar a piece. In some niches, you can get them even less than a dollar, depending on what country you're in even. You can go down to pennies per lead. And now you've got this big email list you're building, and now you can send them these offers compliantly. So... Let's assume I want to run this offer. The next thing you need to do is do some research. What are other people doing? How are they running offers like this in this niche? So the first thing I would do is simply just go to Google itself and do a search for whatever you want to, you want to promote. So in this case, I went to Google and I searched investing guide. Okay, I want to learn how to buy investments. Right now is a great time for that because the co the economy is really down. It's time to buy. Okay, a lot of people who who think the economy is going to go back to normal, which it will eventually, is now is the time to look at doing stock market investing. And this is probably where I would start if I was anyone in the world. I would come to Google and search for maybe an investing guide or something like that. So whoever bid on this keyword on their ads is now going to be able to show their ad and as you can see here you can see there's a beginner's guide here by Udemy and there's one here by fool.ca so if I click on this and it goes to their landing page as you can see it's sent directly to their landing page and this is a it's more like a listicle style page and I've done a video on listicles and why they are so effective and why you should really consider doing a listicle especially for Google as you can see, they're talking here and it comes down to an email capture form. They're doing exactly what I just said, okay? It's the same exact thing. They're collecting leads and now in the back end, they are either going to try and sell you their membership program or they're going to send you affiliate links all the time related to guides, different things you can get in the investment community. They're probably going to get you to sign up to a bank somewhere that has you know, great trading software and they're going to get paid commissions every single time. So they are in fact a product owner, I know this as a fact, but at the same time they're going to be sending you content, they're going to be sending you links out to affiliate products and everything else along the way. So you are in fact joining their list if you do this. So this is the strategy they use and it's the strategy I use and this is how affiliate marketers can run on Google. Now let's talk quickly about how to set up your campaign for maximum results and how to use the actual tools inside Google to make this super easy for yourself. So another thing you should do also, once you've done this initial research and you've found a few competitors, you're gonna wanna take those competitor domains, like say fool.ca, and go into a tool like SEMrush. If you go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEMrush, you can get this for free for seven days. And what you're gonna wanna do is use this spy tool to see all of the ads that are currently being ran by this competitor. It'll show you everything. This is perfect for you to come in and see what is actually happening. So just have a look here at what I can see now. Just by looking at this domain, I can now see all of their ads, everything. This is amazing. It's a great tool. Now I can see everything that's happening. I can go in and see their landing pages. I can go see how they're beating the policy, how they're actually not beating it. They're actually adhering to the policy. And then I can even join their list and see all the messages they're sending to people. So this is basically how 
you do it. And this tool is great, so I highly recommend you join the SEM Rush free trial. Again, go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEM Rush for that trial. I am an affiliate for SEM Rush. I use it all the time. You will be getting a great product. You can try it for free. So check it out. Support my channel. Go to that link. And let's go, let's carry on here. So now that I know what everyone else is doing, now I have a great product. I've built my website that is fully compliant with uh, Google. I have a ton of great content. Now it's time I build my squeeze page or listicle or whatever it is that we're going to use for a, technically a landing page, but it's not really a landing page in terms of how generally affiliates would set up a landing page to link out to some offer. That is not what we're doing here. We're going to delay that gratification for later. So coming into your account, one great way to find keywords again is with this tool. If you come in here, you can see positions tab and it's going to show you all of the keywords they are bidding on in their in their ad campaigns. So really a great tool again to show you all of those keywords. It's just starting to populate now and as you can see, I can see all of what they're bidding on. They're bidding on fool, fool.ca, how to buy stocks in Canada, stocks to buy, how to invest, blah, 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 right? There's just so many keywords that I could steal right here just by exporting them into a file and adding them to my campaign. Here's the export button and I could just do that if I wanted. Another great way to find keywords is to come directly into the Google tool and click on keyword planner. Now what I'll generally do is I will discover new keywords and I'll start with the website. So I'm going to take the offer that I'm actually promoting. So in this case, I will click on this link to see where I'm going and I'm gonna take this domain right here and I'm gonna plug it into Google so that I can get some great results. So here we go, I'm gonna paste that in, start with a website, go here, click get results and now it's going to show me a bunch of keywords. Look at this. There's just so many keywords. I think there's 295 keyword ideas. So how many keywords would you actually use in your campaign? Depending on what your budget is, really, uh, it, it really matters. So if you have a budget of, say, $100 per day, I would start with, say, 50 keywords maximum. So you're going to come in here and you're going to look for keywords that you think are going to be keywords that people would search if they're actually going to be trying to buy your product. So this one, in, in this case, Google suggests that these are the types of keywords related to this website. So it only makes sense to kind of pick keywords from this list, say 50 keywords that you think you can find. You can, you can arrange these based on the top bid or the lowest bid. So three bucks Canadian is the highest bid. And if you, if you sort it the other way, then 46 cents, I think it was, 46 cents here is the low bid. These are Canadian figures, so it's gonna be about half that almost, or like a little more than half, so about 70%. So in this case, for 46 cents, it would probably be around 33 cents, we'll say, 32 cents. So really, the cost per click here is, is working. So if I had to spend, say, $100, I should get roughly 50 clicks. Of those 50 clicks, I want about a five to 10% subscriber rate so I would get about 10 subscribers for 50 bucks say five bucks per subscriber that's a realistic number here so let's say I'm paying five dollars per subscriber and I'm getting 369 dollar payout on the offer then really it's the math here works out well so I think it's it's a potential winner uh, if you just do the math and you do the research involved first so that you can understand exactly what's going on first because you have all of this information available to you. You have the ads, you have the positions of the keywords, the keywords they're focusing on. Really, that's how easy it is and this can be done in any single niche. Now let's assume you have your keywords. Let's just go through a couple settings. I'm not gonna go through setting up an entire campaign on Google. It's really a step-by-step -step walkthrough but there are a couple of things that are really important when you're setting up your campaign for the first time. So let's have a look. Let's create a new campaign here and look at some of the things. So what I generally focus on is leads. You can also do sales if you're if you're actually selling a product that you own that works well. Website traffic is okay. You're going to get a bunch of traffic, but it doesn't necessarily convert. My goal here is to get leads. So I'm going to click leads and I'm going to select search. There are other ads obviously that you can choose, but let's just focus on search today. 
we're gonna go for website visits and here is where you're going to put your actual website this is where you're sending traffic to this is where they're going to subscribe and the thank you page after they've subscribed is going to be fully compliant and it's going to be on this domain as well so make sure everything matches so that you do not break the rules of Google and start sending people to an offer page uh, continue you can you can install your tracking code this is important if you want to track leads you have to track your leads this is a very important piece of code and you want to put that on your thank you page so it tells Google every time you get a conversion every time you get a lead it's going to tell Google where that lead came from so you need to put that code on the thank you page that's important as well continuing on a couple more features that are important here when setting up your first campaign uh, you want to turn off Google search partners on your initial test. Uh, Google search partners is basically not Google site. It's not coming directly from Google. It's coming from partner sites who have the search feature included and they feed their results with Google. It's just not good quality traffic compared to people who literally go to Google and search. So turn that off unless you want to use it later. Sep separate this into a different campaign altogether. Do not run Google search partners at the same time as just plain search network traffic from Google. Okay, Turn off your display network. Run that separately as well. Never combine, in my opinion. It, it doesn't work. You want to keep <clears throat> each campaign separate, and you can duplicate your campaigns for each of these after. Coming in, select your location. It's going to spread your budget across many uh, countries if you don't change this you want this one people in or regularly in your target location so if you're running an offer that only accepts US traffic then you want to select this okay if you're running a, an offer on Clickbank which usually takes any country you can always leave this open and just kind of take people from anywhere but I like to select and know where my traffic is coming from directly English, leave that, nothing major here. So here's the important stuff about bidding and budget, and then I'm going to um, show you one more thing after this, and then that's it, okay? If you have any questions or comments, please just post them below. Budget, let's say we have $100 per day budget. Here is where the bidding really matters. Now, when you're first starting out your campaign, you don't wanna start with a target CPA. You don't wanna start with automated bidding, in my opinion. I've done a complete video on how I lost $10,000 on Google. You can check it out, I'll pop it up here. Um, it talks about this bid strategy, what happens when you switch your budget and switch your bidding on the fly, okay? I made a big mistake one time and learned my lesson, but basically what I would do here, start with a, a, a conservative bid but you want to select a different bid strategy here right now we don't have any conversion data so Google can't set bids based on conversions yet because we haven't given Google any conversions yet so if you set up target CPA right now the automated bid strategy just won't have any data Google will tell you later when it's time to turn it on in your recommendations. It'll tell you, it'll have a little pop up here. You can see I have a red bar across the top here that says I'm not running any ads. Well, that would say something like, hey, you're ready to turn on target CPA, but don't turn it on yet. I usually start with a manual cost per click and I might set this to help increase conversions later once a conversion comes in. But right now, manual cost per click is what I will start with. And you're also going to want to add site link extensions, callouts, and call extensions if you can, because this increases your click-through rates on your Google Ads. And you can find all of these simply by going back into seeing what their ads look like. And you can see, basically, what their um, extensions look like. And what you're going to be looking for here is stuff like this, these little last pieces of their ads, top rated stock pickers, 25 year history, new stock picks, top stock picks to buy. These are little snippets that they're putting in right inside their Google ad setting under site link extensions or callouts. These are like, you know, click here to get act, you know, click here to get your free guide. If you're giving away a free guide, then you need to you need to put that here. Uh, download for free, get instant access learn from the pros all, whatever you want to put here for your extensions and that'll increase your click-through rates again bringing your cost per click down and these are a few strategies i use when setting up my ads okay so once your ad is actually running you're going to start seeing conversions in the conversion column assuming you've set up conversions if you want to set up other conversions i've come back into the other account by the way because i want to show you some actual data but if you come in and you click on tools 
you can create conversions right up here and you can create anything as a conversion and whenever somebody lands on a particular page on your website you can fire that conversion pixel to tell Google you got that conversion so you can optimize your campaigns to whatever you want in this case as you can see I have several ad groups in this one I have seven ad groups all catered around specific keywords in my niche each of the ads in those ad groups focuses on the keyword bunch or whatever you want to call it it's a it's a group or cluster of keywords in each side in each one of these ad groups and they're catered around the specific ads now the landing pages as well can you can go a, a step further and each of your landing pages can be specific to the ads and ad group so this is how you do it eventually you're going to see conversions now one last trick before I leave this video I want to show you how to find super highly profitable keywords if you come into your keywords over on the left side and you click on search terms it's going to show you all of the keywords that people actually searched not the keywords that you bid on so if you have a broad match selection ad group which I do have I have one of my ad groups which I call the discovery ad group it's set to broad match all of my keywords in there are set to broad meaning now Google is going to show my ad to people if it even relates closely to the keyword that I'm bidding on now I can come into my search terms report and see all of the keywords that people are searching and I'm not bidding on because in this added slash excluded column you can see I have some that say added that means I do have that keyword in my campaign but then this one says none which means this keyword got hundred and twenty two conversions and I don't even have it added into my campaign so I need to add these immediately into my campaign so that Google starts to optimize towards those specific keywords and then later uh, I'll, I'll be able to come in here and see that it'll be added to my campaign. So there's a ton of them out here that have conversions and this I do every single week or month. I'll come in here depending on how much time I have and I will come here and change it so that it's added to my campaign and it's not just being picked up through a broad, broad match um, identifier. Okay, So that is important here because I want to have it in my campaign. I don't want it just to be triggered on a broad match. So that is a key trick to finding more keywords for your campaign. So hopefully this video has given you a guide into how to start setting up campaigns. If you want to see a full case study on us setting up a full search campaign from start to finish, running paid traffic to e-commerce offers, then come in and check out powerhouseaffiliate.com. Inside here, we have a free starter package, but at the same time, if you're a premium member, you get access to all of our case studies. We've done one on Google, we've done one on Facebook, we have many on Native and Push, and we have more coming. We are constantly doing live trainings or live examples of campaigns we are running so if you want to come in here and join the premium club for 19 bucks you can see an actual Google Ads campaign set up from scratch running to e-commerce offers and you're gonna see all of the setup as well all right I hope you liked that video if you did please again like subscribe or click the bell icon down below so you get notified of all my future videos please share this if you think it's a video that will help anyone else that is running Google Ads maybe for your team or maybe another affiliate you know please share it with them thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos